looking forward to seeing some races today. Yeah. Okay. First race is beating you to the bar. Let's go. <laughs> see up here now. <laughs> this gorgeous lady. Howdy, howdy. Dick. 72 acres. It's bread time. You want safety? Stop watching now. Hey guys. Well, it's a beautiful Queensland sunny day, about 31 degrees. What's that, about 90? Fahrenheit, I think. Uh, we've come to the local races. It's a bit hot, no wind. So we had to have some fun, have a bit of a day off. So uh, we'll periodically show you some races and people having fun. So uh, stay tuned. See you in a bit. And there they all are. They're not. That's not where they race from, is it, babe? Are they, are they under starting orders already? <laughs> I'd say they're settling into the day. <laughs> Did I say how beautiful you look today? Oh, thank you, darling. I see you got your shoes in four wheel drive mode. Yes, in four wheel drive mode. Nice, nice. Well, this is the 150th anniversary of these races. Wow, yeah. it's a big day, then. Big day. I'm glad we made it. Last year it was cancelled, wasn't it? Well, the races were cancelled due to the wet. Yeah, that's right. So, looking forward to seeing some races today. Yeah. Okay. First race is beating you to the bar. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's nice, beautiful, isn't it? It's a big bag, isn't it? Yeah. So that is our runner up in the best dress girl. And the winner will be entrant number 61. Race number one, our bets are number 10. Over at the 1,000 metre start. So we look to be ready. There's the light now. They're set. Ready to jump. Off and racing now. And Rock Dreamer off the inside. With Wrap along with Craig Lee Lakey. He's not throwing it in. Wrap along just in front of the shadows. And Wrap along on the first. Meet on Craig Lee Lakey. Temple Mistress. Then Rock Dreamer. Next hey. time it's Sally Grain. And then Empire Club from Bonafide Dini. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. From the stage for fashion to the field. Next race, legs 11. Is that you? Say me. Go Roots and Rocks! Last of all, but it's the favourite James Atelli. 750 metres left to go, clear by a half lane to Roots and Rocks in second spot. Fleck in the locker, Roots and Rocks is hanging tough, and then nine cigars from Fleck. On the outside, Roots and Rocks is coming out after James Atelli. Roots and Rocks takes the lead, and Roots and Rocks moving out to the line, scored by two and a half lanes, James Atelli second. Fleck scored, and then Cossio, and the tail ender was coming. Roots and Rocks! <laughs> So what do you reckon then, babe? Beautiful day. Beautiful horses. Oh, they were so fit, weren't they? Unbelievable. And those tappies, they were really looking after those horses well, weren't they? Yep. Hosing yeah. them down as soon as they got out of the race. Even actually before they got to the hose down yard, they had the saddles off and walked them back saddleless. So I was really impressed with the way they looked after the horses. And it was a hot day too. It is a hot really day. Really hot. Ooh. Really hot day. Car coming. Anyway guys, that's it for uh, another wonderful day. And if you're wondering why we're, we're going to a racing day, when some of you might feel like, you know, you guys are pro-horse, why are you supporting the racing? It's because these guys really look after their horses. Out here in the country, the horse racing is just a really nice environment for the horses, and I don't think they're mistreated in any way or form. So that's why I feel okay about supporting today. How about you? Well, I think it's a lot of city folk that have no idea what's going on and they think it's cruel and they've had one case or two cases where it's cruel and they don't actually know what the hell they're talking about. You get out there and actually get into the country and see what's going on. You see that people really do love and care for their animals. I agree with you there with the country. I am aware of some cases where cruelty can be taking place hmm. and breeding systems and 
taking non-performers for sure. To dog There's food always extremes like in that, everything. But there is extreme in everything, mm. but not today. Today, these tra horses are treated with respect and kindness. Unbelievable. I mean, we even saw one trainer hose their horse down and give him a drink right before his race. He didn't wait until he came back mm. to hose him down, hose the sweat off and do the right thing by authority. Mm. He made his horse comfortable and made sure that that horse was having a good day. And yeah. I appreciate that. And everyone else had a good day. They and did. I hope you did too. So thanks for coming along. Sayonara. Bye. Available soon on our website, running a muck off grid, but jump on there now and see Bob's amazing Australian hardwood kitchen shishutri and cheese boards. Absolutely phenomenal. They'll make any kitchen look amazing. So now it's time to extend these cattle yards. The Brumbies are arriving soon and they'll be in these yards 24-7 for the first little while. They're fresh from Mount Kosciuszko so we need to get them handled, get them into a domestic routine before we allow them out into the big 50 acre paddock. Just an extension on this side and that side. Obviously we have quite a few more posts to put in, all of these star pickets will come up and we'll have posts the same as that one that one and that one so first things first is clearing it up and then we're off with Miss Massey and the quad to collect some more posts isn't that right Maggie yeah a lot of debris on the ground to be raked up isn't that jazzy <laughs> yeah cattle yards round yard oh look Rocco's ready to go But first up, we need to take down a couple of these dead trees because they have dead limbs which are precariously hanging and could possibly fall and hurt the animals. Got it. Well, that looks pretty good. Happy with that? Why don't we take it down from here at six foot, like a normal post? Yeah. And then this may integrate. Actually, it probably does integrate with the post. Actually, and that this can stay too. So that can be a post. Mm. Great idea. Saves us putting one more in the ground. Mm. And saves um, digging all this out. Yeah. That branch there. Yeah. Has been hanging like that precariously since we moved here, hasn't it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's on only a matter of time, isn't it? Yeah. It was really swaying the other day when it was windy. So okay. I'm excited to get this tree down. It's quite dangerous yeah. and it's going to become quite useful. They're really big trees. Yeah, I think it's 
the wrong way. It's going this way. Let's see what we're going to do. Wedge. He's going to start uh, winching those straps back. He's already got a deep cut in there, so I'm not liking this a little bit. All right, he's going to give it a tug. Oh, it's cracking. Oh, it might just come. Oh. Holy shit! Man, that was right where I was standing. I was standing right there. I was standing right there. <laughs> I wouldn't be bragging if I were you. You nearly killed me. Okay. Tommy was going to land over there. Oh, yeah. My hand can't stop shaking long enough to take this <laughs> shot, but it's pretty rotten. I'm glad I got a roll bar on the tractor. You didn't want the one who needed a roll bar. <laughs> My hat fell off me three good running steps behind me and it was under the tree. Well, I'm glad I didn't rake the round yard or anything. 